go. Sorry. Hi there. Rick here with your Top of the Mountain report for 4th of July weekend, 2021. Today's July 5th. We're uh, finally got a sunny day after about three days of rain. And we're up on Rumford Whitecap, which is sort of in Andover Rumford line. And uh, we've done this hike before. And it's a nice, uh, dry, relatively cool day, not too hot, so it's kind of nice. And uh, we really needed the rain. I, I don't know what we got, maybe two inches. So as you can see, we got some puddles and stuff. So finally got some rain after, I don't know, a long, long time. Anyway, uh, this is a pretty popular hike. Uh, we've done it before, but it's been a few years. And uh, it's a good view because you can kind of look over into the White Mountains over that way. See, uh, Nick Speck, not, not Speck, but um, Adams, uh, Washington Adams, uh, the ski area. You can see some trails there. Uh, here's a hike we did last summer. You can go back and look. And Goose Eye, good view of that. Uh, kind of looking, panning over north, uh, up through uh, Grafton Notch area up in there. And, uh, and across uh, over to. Um, Weld, welds over that way. Little Jackson, Big Jackson. I think that one sticking out there is actually Mount Blue. It's kind of like a Chinaman's hat. And uh, the busy day today. Yeah, wind towers. Looks like they're doing over here, putting up some more wind towers. Um, pretty good hike. Uh, I think it's a, I think it's like a two and a half mile hike in. So maybe a five mile. Um, round trip hike. Uh, you can see the town of Rumford down there. So, way down in there. And, uh, yeah, couldn't ask for a better day. Uh, we've had uh, quite a bit of heat lately. So, it's nice to, uh, I mean, really hot, like in the 90s. And, um, you know, pretty humid. So, it's yeah. nice to have some dry air. Oh, yeah, there's another ski area. You can see, uh, I think it's Mount Abram. And some of the other hikes we've done, you know, Spruce Mountain, Spruce Mountain Wind Towers, uh, Mount Zircon, uh, you can see a tower up there, yeah. Yeah, that would be their, I guess their cell phone tower up there. Yeah, and you'd be looking down that way towards, that would be looking down towards Bridgeton. If you really look off in the distance, I think that's Shawnee Peak way down there. Uh, you actually can see Mount Washington sticking right up there. Looks like a Chinaman's hat. Uh, and if we really zoom in, you might be able to see, you possibly might be able to see uh, the auto road. Anyway, it's it's all over that way, the whites. We're about 20 miles, 22, some three, hikers. 22 miles uh, east of uh, the presidentials. And that, that was a hike we did last summer. It was one of the bigger ones we did. And yeah, Silver Lake down there. Also, uh, I don't know, they call it Roxbury Pond. Also, another name for it. Let's see it. Nope. That's looking up towards Byron. Coast Canyon's up that way. And this long ridge here and back there, I'm trying to remember the name of that. I can't remember it. I think it's uh, um, yeah, it's when you go up beyond Grafton Notch and you hike east. I guess Elephant Mountain. I think that's what they call it. On the AT. The AT goes over that long ridge that you see over there. And we're also, you can't really see it, but way back up in there would be like a south arm. Town of Andover, you can kind of make out. Richardson Lake is up back in there as well. No, wait, you can't see it. But uh, can see Saddleback in between the two towers up in there. That's Saddleback. Uh, Mountain ski area. Yeah. Up in Rangeley. Looks like a saddleback. Yeah. Yeah, so great day. Uh, 
To get here, uh, basically it's north of Route 2. Um, you go up Route 5 a bit, a few miles, and you're going to see a bridge. Um, you cross the bridge. As soon as you cross the bridge, you take uh, an immediate, uh, I guess it would be left, and there's a parking area with a trailhead. Yeah. So, pretty accessible. Uh, by looking at it, last time we were here, it was a much smaller parking area, so they've uh, expanded the parking lot. So, and by looking at it today, it's becoming more and more popular. I used to come up here years ago, and virtually I'd hardly ever see anybody. Uh, I mean, there were people that would hike here, but it was sort of obscure. Yeah. But it's beginning to become more mainstream. I think some people have the day off because it's considered yeah. a holiday. And I think uh, uh, an organization called Mahusik Land Trust has sort of started managing it. And they have maps and so forth. And they have a website. So, you know, it's a little more accessible. I mean, years ago, if you didn't live around here, you might not know about it. I don't even know if it was in the, uh, you know, early on, some of the hiking books. I don't think it was. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So it's... It's made it on, uh, you know, pre of, like I remember coming here in the 90s, in the 80s, for example. There, you know, you'd come up here and there'd be nobody. Yeah. I mean, there was a trail and people did hike it, but there was nothing like this. But that's okay. Lots of blueberries here. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Hello. Right, so, so over and out, we'll see you on the next hike and uh, hopefully there'll be many more. Alrighty. Head back down. I'm just gonna throw it all together. Sure. Yeah. Nice day. Uh, heading down. Leisurely stroll down White Cap Mountain. Yeah. We're in no hurry. It's no. A great day. Yeah, it's all not even two o'clock. It's two o'clock and it's quarter of. We had a monsoon weekend so everyone's been stuck in the house i haven't had any exercise for a couple of days so it feels good to hike yeah so i think what everyone's trying to do is cram their outdoor activities in for the fourth of july weekend today because it's too crappy the rest yeah. of the weekend most people have today off so we have to realize that there's going to be more people up there. Yeah, so everyone's back to work tomorrow i got three day weekend yeah Everyone but me. Maybe I'll do a solo hike somewhere tomorrow. And... Yeah, well, I would have known. I would have said, can we push it off? He would have let me push it off. He's actually flexible. Yeah. Like, he only hires me when he needs an extra guy. Yeah. Because I talk to him. <laughs> so we can walk over this way, right? Yeah. I'll just get a view that way. So is this like the eastern, which way is north? North is this way. Oh, so this is like a, a northern view? Yeah, and this is kind of northwest. This way. And that's that, you know, um, goose eye. Good, good, good shot of goose eye. Yeah. Which is actually, a lot of places around here, you don't get a, it's one mountain when I do a lot of hikes around here, you don't get a good clear view of it. But from this viewpoint, you know, And that's, uh, you know, one of the bigger peaks. Yeah. yeah. And that's almost a 4,000 footer, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of the bigger peaks in what's referred to as the Mahusik Range, which is this. Yeah. And I think that's uh, the Sunday River White Cap. You know what? Yeah. And we can't really see. It's weird because I think that's Bigelow kind of popping up, but we got this mountain in front of us blocking the view. You know that hiking trip we did last fall? We were trying to go east on uh, on the other side of 26. Was that with you? Anyway, that comes all the way down, and then the AT follows these ridges all the way over. And it's up towards Rangewood. <laughs> it's a pretty good stretch. And also, remember we did that other mountain uh, this fall with Trish? Yeah. Okay, that was that mountain there. I forget the name of it. The Speckled. 
Right. Uh, it was on the way to South Arm. It was on the South Arm Road. Oh, Mount, was it Blue Mountain or something? I forget the name of it. Yeah, okay. Blue Mountain. Blue Mountain. Or Mountain yeah, Blue. that's it right there. Not Blue, not Mountain Blue, but Blue Mountain. Yeah, that's it right there. And it was like we, it was like a long trail that you had to go, but we never found the peak. Right. I think we were up on uh, that first peak. Yeah. It ended up not being that clear. Yeah. But that was the AT we were on. They'll have to get uh, professional like them other YouTubers where they, you know, they set the camera up and then they walk past like the, yeah. like there's a third cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of walking back and forth. You gotta do it for the views. Yeah, this is a good view this way. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is fair game. I think they call this road down here is the Farmer's Hill Road. It goes in between the mountains. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is where some of the skiing is. If you want to come up here skiing. Yeah. Uh, in the spring, down there is some of that's some of the better places. It's a short line. back in here and you can really see that crane now the red crane that fell apart yeah and Thank you I'm and i that. you and i hiked up to that tower last summer i think when we, we were over there yeah up back in there uh, we were up back there we hiked up the ski trails and then we we bushwhacked it a bit Yeah. I watched the page. I think you sent me one of the videos. Yeah, probably. Oh, you. Jeremiah Bay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> doom and gloom guy, Rick says. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, That's why we come up here get. Get a mine off the doom and gloom. Doom and gloom and YouTubers. Well, you could turn into this YouTube channel here in maybe days and get a positive spin on things. Yeah. Life ain't that bad. <laughs> Not to live with your mother. Yeah. <laughs> that's, maybe you well, should that's move. right, you live with your mother. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, because of the housing market. Hopefully soon, yeah, find something. Yeah, that's why Rick was never a lead singer in a band. <laughs> well, I think I could do it with comedy music. Maybe. Yeah, you could do uh, the song "Wet Dream" by Kip Adada. It has to be like a Weird Al thing. Yeah. You know that song "Wet Dream"? No. Never heard that song? No. Eh, missing out. What have you been listening to? It was on Doctor Demento. Oh. Yeah, this is uh, it's nice up here. Get a false summit down there. There's a lot of them. Yeah, all through here. I think that trail's over this way. Yeah. Don't go close. Enjoy the view. Really nice temperature. I mean, for people that don't hike much, you notice this. The short trees. Yeah, this gets hammered by the wind. Yeah. And they don't grow very high because it's always getting bombarded by yeah. by wind. And... and this was like one of the first sunny days. This was on Vegas. It had like 90 something degrees. And, yeah. You know, you can get a bit of sun, but you get up in an exposed area like this, like last week for more than an hour, and you feel like a piece of bacon. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when I was coming up, I wanted to go that way. There's a 
check out the view from that side. Yeah. Okay. Might as well we're up here, right? Yeah. There's that fall summit down there. Yeah, I think we go through there. No, no way. No, that's... I, I trailed over here. Oh, oh geez. You can put your ankle here. Yeah, well, so I say uh, get well soon to Trisha. She's hiking the Appalachian Trail. She tore her hamstring. <laughs> yeah, it happens. That's what happened to me if I saw a bust, busty hiker babe on the trail. You got distracted. Probably uh, fall head first. There's a view of the Androscoggin River down there. Yeah. Area. Yeah. It's a Sunday river. Call it the white heat peak. Nice view from here. Yep, nice farm down there. Good sized field. And there's someone's built a house. They took some pictures of way up almost to the top of that mountain. Yeah. We zoomed in on it and it looks like it's an off grid cabin. I wonder how they get up in there. They probably got a private helicopter. Well, they call it four wheel drive. I would say, you know, they can go down down there is Route, route 5. It goes up to the Andover to Route 2. the crows, ravens. There's no commentary except with my heavy breathing. That's how I pick up the chicks. Heavy breathing hiker videos. <laughs> Gets them all hot and bothered. Yeah, heading back down. We might as well get a few shots of up here. It's nice, nice area. Yeah. Nice shot of Mount Adams there. Yeah. Get it with your phone. A rare scene where I'm gonna look at that one you sent me. Rick Boucher is gonna actually take a picture. You can see that crane right there. See it? Right there. I'm sure you can't see shit on the screen, but yeah. Nice scenic area.
Yeah, pretty good view. Can't beat the view up here for a short hike, not bad. It's a cold view with that rock. There's Rick at the rock. Trying to push it. Keep pushing. You're getting there. I saw. I saw it budge. <laughs> That's a no budge rock. Yeah. here Moving through the trail past the rocky bit There he is. Yeah. Ooh. All right. So this is what Rick does usually when he hikes with me. Sits on a rock waiting for me to catch up. He says, the fuck took you so long? Said, move your ass. Move your ass, fat bastard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're here at the end of the trail. Piece of cake. Yeah, it was a little rough on the legs on the way down, but when you, when you mount man Rick, nah, it's another day. Just another day in the hood. It's easy. <laughs>